When is the next financial crisis going to happen? Just open your eyes and take a look around the globe. The next wave of the economic collapse may not have reached Wall Street yet, but it is deeply affecting billions of lives all over the planet. Much of Europe has already descended into a deep economic depression. Very disturbing economic data is coming out of the second and third largest economies on the globe, China and Japan. Just because the Dow has been setting brand new all-time records lately does not mean that everything is okay. Remember, a bubble is always the biggest right before it bursts. The next major wave of the economic collapse is already sweeping across Europe and Asia, and it is going to devastate the United States as well. I hope that you are ready. The following are 10 scenes from the economic collapse that is sweeping across the planet. 27% unemployment and 60% youth unemployment in Greece. The economic depression in Europe just continues to get worse with each passing month. According to the Daily Mail, the unemployment rate in Greece has nearly tripled since 2009. Detroit, Michigan is insolvent and is rapidly running out of cash. Detroit, Michigan is a perfect example of where the rest of the country is headed. They have just gotten there first. At this point, Detroit is essentially bankrupt, and the new emergency financial manager is saying that Detroit may totally run out of cash next month. Economic despair in France. France is going down the same path that Greece, Spain, Portugal, and Italy have gone. Youth unemployment in France is over 40%. 7,000 abandoned buildings in Dayton, Ohio. All over the upper Midwest, there are formerly great cities that are dealing with thousands of abandoned buildings. Dayton, Ohio is one example. An overwhelming number of squatters in Spain. In Spain, unemployment is rampant and people have become incredibly desperate. In fact, in some Spanish cities, you can now find entire apartment buildings that are being overwhelmed by squatters. The Collapse of Chinese Power Consumption Energy consumption tends to closely mirror economic activity. That is why the recent collapse of Chinese power consumption is so alarming. Horrible economic data coming out of the second largest economy on the planet. The economic data that has been coming out of the second largest economy on the planet has been quite alarming recently. For starters, China's recent economic data, as massaged as it is to the upside, is downright awful. China's PMI numbers were the worst in two years. Staffing levels in the Chinese service sector decreased for the first time since January 2009. One out of every five U.S. households are on food stamps. Back in the 1970s, about one out of every 50 Americans was on food stamps. Today, even though we are supposedly in the midst of an economic recovery, Food stamp enrollment continues to soar to new highs. Child hunger in America. Those that work for the big banks on Wall Street may have no problem feeding their children, but overall there is a rapidly growing child hunger crisis in America today. Just check out these following statistics. For the first time ever, more than a million public school students in the United States are homeless. That number has risen by 57% since the 2006-2007 school year. In Miami, 45% of all children are living in poverty. In Cleveland, more than 50% of all children are living in poverty. And also, 60% of all children in the city of Detroit are living in poverty. 
And finally, the tremendous suffering of hundreds of millions of desperately poor people that we never hear about. There are billions of people around the globe that are deeply suffering but do not have a voice. We usually never hear about the desperate poverty that these people are living in, but that doesn't mean that they don't exist. The following statistics that Stephen Lendman recently compiled should shock and alarm you. At least 80% live on less than $10 a day. Over 3 billion people live on less than $2.50 a day. More than 80% live in countries where income disparity is decreasing. The poorest 40% of the world population has 5% of global income. The bottom fifth has 1.5%. The top 20% has 75%. According to UNICEF, 22,000 impoverished children die daily. An estimated 28% of children in developing countries are underweight, malnourished, and or stunted. How can so many people be living like that in a world with such wealth? Sadly, things are going to get much worse. The economic and financial system of the world are rapidly breaking down.